Good evening, Fiend fans. And welcome to my crawly crypt. This little drama is about one of life's unexpected pleasures. Dying, that is. Most of us only get to do it once. And it's all over before you can really enjoy it. But one man did get to die again. And he liked it so much, he started doing it for a living. <sighs> this is the story of Ulrich the Undying. A sideshow performer who found death not only fun, but profitable. In fact, he is dying to put on a show for you. Right now. Come from here, gather around, folks. Right over here. Come see the show. 100% natural, nothing artificial. Guaranteed no pesticides, ah, but perhaps a homicide. Tonight, a special show. Two shows in one. The tragedy of death and the miracle of resurrection. <laughs> Tonight, this man, our very own Ulrich the Undying, will be sealed into a coffin and buried in a grave six feet under to await his inevitable expiration by the grasp of suffocation. <laughs> I call to your attention the clock, which hangs above his grave. Ulrich will be buried alive at precisely the stroke of midnight, but we're not going to let him out until noon tomorrow, at which time his precious, precious oxygen will have been exhausted. <laughs> Folks, this is an escape that Houdini himself couldn't have gotten out of. I give to you Ulrich the Undying! <laughs> Dig me up, I'll be dead. Just like all those bastards want me to be. But I won't stay that way. I remember the day it all began. <laughs> Who are you? How would you like to be rich? Hey, get out. Richer than you ever thought possible. Richer than you ever dreamed of. Mm. This money, my life savings, will be yours. If you consent to a small experiment. <laughs> yes, my friend. Come. Where? 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 Is it? Where is it? This, uh, you'll pardon the term, is a CAT scan. It shows the blood flow into the brain of a healthy house cat. This shows the brain of a cat near death. No, what's your point, Doc? My point is that this cat didn't die, not permanently. An hour later, he was healthy as a kid. And the same thing happened again and again until the ninth time when he finally stayed dead. Oh, different cat, huh? What's all this got to do with me? Well, I... I want to give you those oh. nine lives the next best... Don't touch! 
the next best thing to being immortal. It's, it's a simple matter, really. Uh, removing a gland from a common cat and uh -huh. surgically grafting it into your brain. Wait, 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 wait. Into my brain? <sighs> oh, so I can die nine times. Now you're making sense, Doc. Precisely. Now, oh, and this is where you're going to do it, huh? I'm going to get your gland. And these are the tools of the profession. Hey, wait a minute. If this don't work... If it doesn't work, you have no complaints. <laughs> Holy Christ, I've had hangovers before. But this is terrible. My head. Hey, wait a minute, Doc. You didn't say when I shaved my head. How do you feel? Shitty. Doc, did it work? Absolutely fabulous, fantastic. You now have the nine lives of this poor cat. Wait a minute. How do I know I've got nine lives? They sought to kill you. No, no, no. There is no doubt about it. No! Welcome back to life, my friend. You first! You tried to kill me! I didn't try to kill you. I did kill you. Deadlier than Calcius nuts. And I guess you died eight more times. All right. If that's true, when do I get my money? As I promised, right now. But. Before you stagger into the nearest bar to slurp down your money, how would you like to make a hundred times more? A thousand? No, no. What else do you want to do to me? Nothing, dear boy. Just thought perhaps your special talent would make us both a lot of money. Enough to finance my years of my longevity research and enough, of course, to buy you an ocean of alcohol. What do I got to do? First, you need to shave. Trying not to cut your own throat. Those extra lies are too valuable to waste. Why not? It'll be worth millions. No, I'm not interested. I've seen escape back. So I think it disappears with the audience. Yeah, but Ulrich the Undying is different. You see, he doesn't escape. He actually dies right before your eyes. That's why we can only schedule a limited number of performances. He dies? Yes. Okay, strange love, I'll give it a shot. I hope it works. I can use the money. My freaks need a new shoe. Gather round! Gather round! as Ulrich the Undying defies the drowning chamber, a watery nightmare from which there is no escape. Three minutes is enough to kill any mere mortal, but Ulrich will remain underwater for a full hour, as verified by the eminent Dr. Manfred Mann. Dr. Emil Manfred. Whatever you say, Doc. Oh, are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm ready. OK, boys, oh. fill her up. Ladies and gentlemen, as the water engulfs over it, I beg you to control your emotions. Make no move to save him! Oh, oh, so you want after no after? What afternoon with me later? He was a child prodigy who spent his early years... In in the nerve! Then, we're breaking the Yes, that's right. Yes, That's it. 
He's deader than a possum on the interstate. He's deader than shit. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. We're going to still keep him in there for a full hour. <laughs> May I have the official clock? He's dead. He's officially dead. Thank you, Dr. Manfred. Drain the tank! This may seem like Ulrich's last performance, but don't go away yet, folks. For Ulrich is a man who lives only to die again. I give you resurrection! Resurrection! Of course he's gonna come back! Resurrection! Doc! Resurrect! Resurrection! Folks, don't go in! Doc! Doc, you get in trouble in some states for this. Resurrection! Resurrection! Folks, folks, don't go in! Resurrection! I'd be happy to give you a rain check, Captain. Resurrection! Get the fuck up! Get folks, folks, this way. Name, honey. Uh, Carly. Hey, Carly, how would you like to have some Italian food? I'm buying. <laughs> Doc, get me a towel. Hey, I'm resurrected! <laughs> Resurrection! Resurrection! He's alive! Resurrection! Gather round! Gather round! Just think, Doc. Ten grand just to let them watch me drown on the ten o'clock news. <laughs> Don't forget, Ulrich, that sixty percent goes to continue my longevity mm. research. Hey, Doc, relax. We got a partnership, and I got a date. Hi. Hi. That's one thing I'll say for old Doc Manfred. He wasted no time getting me killed again. Gather round, gather round for a little frontier justice. As our own Ulrich the Undying is going to have a little necktie party as he gets his neck stretched before our very eyes. He's like a nice day to die. I became a sensation. Crowds would gather from miles around just to see me bite the big one. Hey, how's it going? Nice coming. Nice coming back. Hey, seen you last time. Yeah, no. oh, oh, Ladies, gentlemen, Texas, and other faint hearted may want to turn your eyes away from this horrible example of what happens when you do the dirty in the dirty town of Dastardly. Oh, I said I don't want to do it. Corley, pull, pull, pull left. You do it. I don't oh, want to. Well, there's not much riding upstairs, but downstairs, what's counting? Corley, pull, pull left. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Money is dying, is there? As long as I get my percentage. Hey, Doc, no problem. I mean, after all, you're the guy counting the money, right? Me. Well, that was my share. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Doc, thanks a million. Thanks a million. Jewelry! I want to see Mr. Friendly. <laughs> I figured it was time to boost my profits. So I waited just for the right moment. Think what a strange machine the human body is, Ulrich. Yeah, how about that? You can kill a man by storing less than 1% of his body. He can be 99% healthy and dead. Amazing, isn't it? Every human body is like a walking chemistry set, and if anything happens to upset that delicate balance, death. Jesus. That's why you're so amazing, Ulrich. Because your body fixes itself. And he's going to make us both a lot of money. Well, Doc, you're half right about that. See, it's going to make me a lot of money. See, I got to breach our contract, Doc. You're about to die in a terrible car accident. What are you talking about? That's murder. Yeah, Doc, but who's going to suspect me? I mean, after all, I'll die with you. But hey, I got six well, lives. Henry. How many lives oh, do you have? have? Wait! Can we wait? Slow down! <laughs> wait! <laughs> Feelings, Doc. 
Gather round, gather round. Tonight, a special delight. This is no hoax, ladies and gentlemen. In a few minutes, our own Ulrich, the man who lives to die, will be quick fried with a burst of electrical energy. And one of you lucky folks is going to be the one to pull the switch. Hello, Lee. Can you draw the lucky number? It's a five. One, it's a five. One, five. zero, five, nine, zero! That's me! <laughs> Come up here and claim your prize! Congratulations! You get the prize, my boyfriend! Oric, do you have any last words? Yes, I do. I'd like to dedicate this death to the memory of Dr. Emil Manfred, my dear friend, who would have wanted me to continue. Shut up and cook them. <sighs> Are you ready? You bet your ass I'm ready. I'm ready to die. <laughs> then no come. Go for it, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like that's the end of Auroric, eh? Second day. Resurrection! Or are you gonna make a liar out of me? Resurrection! Okay, Auroric. 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 Resurrection! Oh, just again. Oh, she's a kid. Come on, Auroric. Resurrection! Come on, Auroric. Resurrection! Come on, Resurrection! Come on, One thing I hadn't figured. Some resurrections take longer than others. Appreciate your business. All right, now. First, we drain the mess. Well, you could have fooled me. Now, please excuse me. I have a very tight schedule. <laughs> Oh, fifty thousand six hundred twenty-four! Oh, what time for, honey? What time for? Listen, I missed you while I was there. Oh, I missed you. Oh, that one. Whoa, that one. That one. Whoa. That one was too close for comfort. I mean, if this guy embalms me, I don't know if I can come back. And even if I can, eh. So, the next time, I made special arrangements. Corley was going to get my body no matter what. Gather round, gather round! Shoot an arrow, lay the bear in the ground! Now, for your pleasure, for a limited time only, is a chance to kill a real-life oh, human being! Come on, I'm dying to die! Come on, hit me, hit me! Uh, in the heart, in the heart! Keep them a heart on, as it will. <laughs> yeah! Yes, come on up here! Oh, oh, a man of the sea! Come on! Come on up here, son! Come on up here, Admiral! Come on, Navy, let's go! Show that bimbo what you got! That'll be $1,000, please. Come on, come on, what's $1,000 when you have to kill a real human being? Yeah. Come on, what are you, afraid? Yes. No, well then, anchors away, Popeye. Okay, move away, move away. Come on, let's go, who'll be next? Come on, what an opportunity! Oh, here's a macho man. <laughs> the puppet iron, I see, huh? Yeah, yes, we do take credit cards. Look, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, step right up there, son. Time is money. Don't play to the crowd, play to the bear. That's the one you're trying to kill. Come on, he's dying to die. <laughs> Come on, asshole. Where'd you get that hat? Shut up. Oh, get the bear. One shot. One shot you have here. Come on, boy. You gonna do it. I know you can. Go bears, over there. Go bears, over there. I'm getting out of here. Oh, he's That's gonna it. kill That's him. Are you ready? Are you ready? Aim. Fire! <laughs> so near and yet so far, as the French say, see tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Come on, fuck for the whole family! Junior's gonna give it a try. 
A father and son team! Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. What are we doing? Thousand? One thousand dollars. Well worth it for my son. Come on, Ju Junior. Don't be a sissy now. I don't want to. Junior. Well, listen to your father, son. Listen to your father. All right, go on. I'm going to get your junior membership in the NRA. Your some kids kill to. rabbits, you can kill people. Come on now. Put your hand up. I don't want to kill anybody. Come on, I've been no. killing people for years. And now it's your turn. Come on, you can line it up. No. Steady. Now! Oh. You did that on purpose, I did it Junior. To your dad. You did it on purpose, Junior. You little fat fucker. All right, who'll be next? Come on! A personal check? Uh, yes, we take personal checks. Uh, I'll need two pieces of identification, please. Uh, look at this. Look at this. State Fair Archery Champion, 1987. Oh. Well, if anyone can hit him, I guess he can, huh? <laughs> Go get him, sir, and good luck to you. It's taken years off my life. Oh. Okay. Who is it? Gather round, gather round. Here we go. 80% of the box right. office take, payola from HBO, and some side bet money, too. Gimme, oh, gimme, gimme. You know, worry, Booby, on a more personal note, I want you to sincerely know how how, how, how I want you to know. Yeah. Remember me, Carney, as Sue Carney. 60,000. Coralie, baby. What do you say we take a vacation? Go over to Vegas, catch Wayne Newton's act, hop over to the Bahamas, and then uh, we'll skip over to Paris. Hey, did I tell you? Polanski wants to film my life story. All of them. Yeah? That sounds wonderful. But I have an even better idea. I'll go on vacation, and you... What? I want everything. All of the profits, 100%. 100%, but that'll leave me with practically nothing. Look, asshole, don't you remember what a shithouse this place was before I showed up? Besides, I can't help but think what the audience will do when their star attraction pulls a no-show. That's blackmail. That's right. All right. All right what? All right, 100%. And I don't know how you can live with yourself. I don't. That sucker. If I wanted, I could have got a share from his corn dog concessions. <laughs> 
By the old clock on my wrist, it seems that each hour is approached. Come on, boys. The time has come. Warm down. There we go. And listen, Lord, when you get to hell, don't forget to write. <laughs> hey, it's mud in your eye. <laughs> Although I do feel a little bad about the doc. Ah, but what the hey? I'm already set for life. And all because of that poor little kitty. Poor dead little kitty. Too bad he had to die. Wait a minute. That cat. It died. It already died once. Oh my god. I don't have bad lives. Hey! Hey, somebody! Well, you ought to be about out of here by now. You kidding? Grow up. It's all a fake. Yeah? You think so? Of course. You don't think they really let someone die down there. Nobody wait! I don't have nine lives! You hear something, Al? Nah. It's probably just a cat. Yeah, right. Just a cat. Somebody! I don't have no life! Somebody! Let me out! Put it in between Wheel of Misfortune and the newly dead game. <laughs> Unless they buried it in the wrong time slot. 